Look at all of these kites in different shapes and sizes. Like this one here. It looks like a beautiful bird, doesn't it? This kite is a type of diamond shape that we call a rhomboid. But I think my favourite is this one just here. For a kite to fly in the air, it has to be very light. And this kite is made of a material called nylon. And nylon is really strong, but very thin. Now, can you see this piece here that goes from the top all the way to the bottom of the kite? That's called the kite's spine. And if I turn it over, we can see this piece that goes across the kite. And that's called the cross spar. But attached to the spine, we have this piece of string that we call the kite line. And it's what we hold on to when we fly the kite in the air. When we fly kites, we have to make sure that the area is big and it's free from any trees, roads or power lines. This one is just right. Ready, guys? Three, two, one, up! <laughs> wow! Can you hear the sound of the kites flapping in the wind? To fly a kite safely, we need to make sure the wind's not too strong or too light. So to find out how strong the wind is today, I'm going to use this very special machine, and it's called an anemometer. The anemometer spins round, and it's telling me that the wind speed today is around 10 miles per hour, and I think that will do just right. The best way to launch a kite is with two people, and Bill is a kite flying expert. He's going to help me launch the kite by holding on to it whilst I roll out the kite line. You ready, Bill? Yep. OK. Now, I need to stand with my back to the wind, pull on the kite line. Bill is lifting the kite up. Here it goes. There it goes! We're flying a kite! To get the kite higher, I can let out the kite line a little bit at a time. Wow, it looks absolutely beautiful up there. But how does a kite fly in the sky? To find out, I'm going to film Bill flying this kite with my special camera. This is my special slow motion camera, and it helps me to see things slowed right now. Can you see the kite catching the wind and lifting up into the air? The curved shape of the kite and the way it tilts as it flies means that air moves over the top of it faster than the air moving underneath. This creates lift, pushing the kite up into the sky. The stronger the wind, the more lift there will be. We can also feel the wind trying to blow the kite away. This creates something called drag. To stop the kite just blowing away, we pull on the kite line and this creates something called thrust. But for the kite to fly perfectly, we need the thrust, that's the pulling on the kite line, and the drag, that's the force of the wind, to be the same. Let's see if I can fly the kite to show you those forces working in the air. Now the kite is in the air, the thrust of me pulling on the kite line and the drag of the wind pushing the kite away balance each other out. And that's what keeps the kite flying perfectly in the air. And now I can just stand back and enjoy it. <laughs> I loved seeing how a kite works. What was your favourite bit? Do you remember what you call the string that's attached to the kite? That's right, it's called the kite line. Did you hear the sound of the kites flapping in the wind? And did you see the way the wind caught our kite and it lifted into the air 